Hello everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekly reads. Um, I don't have as much to shuffle now, so this reading is for Gemini. Gemini, you are, we are reading for you from the 10th to the 16th of February. Oh, a bit of confusion, too many choices, not really understanding which way to go at the moment. Being sort of stuck in that energy of confusion. Um... Feeling like you don't want to make the right choice here. I think you know that the right choice is the one to make, but trying to avoid that choice, trying to, to sort out why you're being given the choice to make. I don't know what that means to you. I am using the Pagan Tarot. Personal readings are all in the box below. Thank you to new and old subscribers. Much love to you. And let's get going. Alrighty, so we do have the Three of Wands coming out first. So the Three of Wands talks of having or waiting for your ships to come in. It's like you've put everything in motion, you're, you've done everything you need to do, but now you are waiting for the right thing to come to you. Um, behind that is the Eight of Pentacles. So you've been working really, and the Six of Pentacles, radio. So you've been working really hard to bring balance into your life here. Um, and I do note that that Seven of Cups in the beginning talks of confusion. So it may be that you've been trying to understand the direction your life is leading you in and you know that you have to make a certain choice, but you're standing waiting to see what is the best way to go. It's sort of like you're biding your time. So you're, you're digesting it, you're manifesting it, but you're being patient about how it comes to you. Seven of Swords here. Now the Seven of Swords can talk about um, being sneaky, it can have a real sneaky energy, it can be about stealing, stealing people's ideas, stealing thoughts, whatever. Um, sometimes this can be you though, doing what you need to do to move yourself forward. Yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, so you've come out of some period of time where there's been hurt and pain and you, this is why you're confused at the moment. You're having difficulty moving away from something and you're not really sure how to do that, your mind's clouded. Um, it could have been that there is some sort of betrayal here um, but you're very much sort of sitting in your in your own thoughts at the moment unsure how to move forward we'll get some more information okay we do have the eight of wands so relief is coming in very very quickly here there seems to be messages coming in very very quickly um, it could be money too so if you've been worried about money, it could be money as well. Um, Ace of Swords coming in here. So this is about a brand new start. You're closing out something here. Something that you are reluctant to close out though. You're having a lot of trouble, a lot of confusion, understanding which way to go. Okay, this is very nice though. You do have the Nine of Cups here. So this is a wish coming true. Something that you've been waiting for. This is why you're waiting for this ship to come in some relief coming here with this and the eight of wands too and look you have the sun in the middle so if you were confused before you're about to come out of this cloudy time and see things very clearly you have the justice card so some sort of karma is being turned around here for you if you've been waiting for money to come to you or you've had some sort of dispute around some sort of legal issue money heartbreak you could have broken up with someone there could be a settlement here I need to advise you this is looking really really good you've got nine of cups the sun and the justice card so you will get what you deserve here it's just a matter of being patient okay two of pentacles coming in so you could be sort of having a little bit of a, a heart over head decision confusion around which way to proceed now Okay, Ten of Wands coming in. So yes, you are ready to put this burden down, Gemini. Whatever it was for you, you are ready to let it go. I'm going to leave the last card for a moment. I want to read for you before I pick the last one up. Okay, so first of all, you had the Seven of Cups, which I note talks about confusion. Um, you have been working hard on trying to get some order back into your life, and it's like you've done it, but you're now waiting for something to come back in. So it's like you've been working on straightening things out and now you're waiting for the return. Now, for some of you, this return is around, you know, having something done to you that wasn't nice and you're waiting for some financial reward. But it's also about karma turning the cycle for you. Um, 
There's very much a Wheel of Fortune energy here with this reading. So it's about something that you came out of that was very much a, an act of what you would see as betrayal and hurt, whatever that is for you. Could be relationship, could be marriage, could be a work situation, because I know we do, even though we don't have many pentacles, This I was drawn to the money and the letters and the bills on this. So it could be about a settlement, um, it's about some injustice that was done. But what I do see is I do see the universe bringing things around in your favor here. The sun is here, which talks of, you know, joy and happiness. And you have the wish card right next to it. So you couldn't have two more beautiful cards together. But here you're making the choice on whether you can put this down or not. Um, it's like you're making a decision here on how to move forward. And the universe is saying it's time now to put down this burden and move forward with this Ace of Swords energy. It's time to um, let go of what no longer serves you here. So if it was a relationship, you can let go of it now. It's like justice has been served so you can move forward. If this is about money, something being done, uh, settlements, marriage settlements, it's time for you to move forward now. You can let go of things. Everything's going to be resolved here. So we'll just have a look what card comes out here. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords coming out here. So very much a sort of it's you moving forward with this, with this energy of understanding how to move forward. I love it. So you have here this sword in your hand that is your brand new start. And it's like you're taking charge here and moving forward after this period of confusion, you know, and, and mixed emotions and probably some um, anger but it's it's coming in really really quickly here so I can say to you leaving this betrayal behind to move forward and I like it because you're coming up in your energy here you're speaking your truth you're you know finding your tongue you're finding your voice to be able to move forward it's a lovely reading Gemini but whatever you've been stuck on whatever this thing in your past has been this betrayal this heartbreak this situation it will come up in your favor so you can move forward with this beautiful clarity in the Ace of Swords here because you know now why this has happened, you know what it's bringing in, you know how it's going to affect you and you're now taking, oh, the, I've done that too many times today, you're now taking on this energy of, I'm glad you can't see me bending over here. Um, okay, so the card you've got out is Manifest Your Dreams. Isn't that a perfect card for the reading? It says you're ready to go. There's no need for additional preparation. Take the first step towards the changes you desire, even if they're small steps. Notice signs that guide you in the right direction, as well as resources and support that miraculous, miraculously appear. That's absolutely beautiful and exactly what's here. Good luck, Gemini. Thank you.